Welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Kenesha. Welcome if you're new here and welcome back. Welcome back if you're not new. I just want to say a happy holidays to all of my viewers, subscribers. I just can't tell you how much I have really enjoyed this YouTube journey. Candy tagged me a while ago in this love at first sight bags and I, I have seen tags by Lux Lover Sarah, 5866 and I wanted to say I'm getting to it girls I'm getting to it so hey girls hey girl hey it's been a hectic hectic fall and holiday season so I bet you all can appreciate it I bet many of you can relate to that thank you all for tuning in and coming back I appreciate everybody for being here so I want to get into my five love at first sight items if you like any of these items i'd love for you to drop a comment down below so i just also wanted to tag some smaller youtubers who are under a thousand subscribers you know trying to get to the thousand mark is never easy so fancy frugal fashion mrs b lux l v o e so mrs b lux love the u in fashion a brief case of luxury I'm gonna put their channels down in the description below. And I'm also gonna link Candy's channel down below. She did this collab with Fuchsia Floyd and Lux Lover Sarah 5866. So I'm gonna put their videos down below. Everybody is what's up. The community is growing. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so I've been doing enough talking. Let's get into this video, starting with my first item. So this was love at first sight for me. This is the Wapiti case by Louis Vuitton, and it comes in the Sunset Pastel, which is one of the newest collections Louis Vuitton released this year was the Sunset Pastel collection. They came out with many different pieces, many variations, many bags, but the only piece I wanted and when I tell you when I want something, I hop on top of my essay and I don't get off of her until she responds. Yes, it's like that. I sent her a picture of this piece and I said, this is the only thing that I want from this collection. <laughs> this is it. And she made it happen. So I really love this piece. It's got an interior pocket in there. This piece was made in France. And then I love that it's got like the little fleur de lis in there floating around as decoration. It's hard to see but they're in there as decoration on the inside and it's really light pastel. Over the summer, I use this piece a lot. So there's some wear, there's already some wear on the corners to it. And then on the inside, there's a little bit of wear. There's a little bit of wear. I'm not one of those people that, look, I'm not one of those people that's not gonna use my thing. So there's a little wear everywhere and I like it. That's part of the journey. That's part of my history with this bag. It says LV on the class there, bright and gold. And I just love the sun setting of these colors. Just in small bites, I felt like I could only take this collection in small doses, I'm sorry. And I love pink and I love, and I, I look, <laughs> look at me, okay? I could only take that in small doses, that's the way it is. So I feel like I'm the type of person when it comes to um, seeing things that I really like. I might like it, at first sight, but I won't buy it. I've realized over the years, I don't think I've ever been an impulse buyer, but I definitely over the years learned to reflect. Reflect before spending the money, reflect before dropping the dollars. I will think about it for a while before spending a whole heap of money to make sure I really like it. But if I come back to something months later, it's been love at first sight, okay? That's how it works for me. The next piece that I'm gonna share with you that was that feeling is my loop. This piece is just art to me. That's what this is to me. The loop is pure artistry. The reason why I really love this loop is because Louis Vuitton has done denim in the past, but this denim, there's something majestic about this denim. It's rich. The texture is so thick. It's like 
better than canvas this denim i felt like this was one of the best buys for me in my collection other reason why i love this piece is because i rock a lot of denim so this is something that matches my aesthetic and my style so that's the reason why i really like this piece now this piece also comes with this gold chain and then it comes with this adjustable leather strap that i keep stored inside and this piece was also made in France. I just love the interior textile. The interior material is this textile that carries through from the outside to the inside. I just felt like this whole jacquard, jacquard, whatever, however you pronounce it, this whole print is everything. The way that they designed it with the leather wrapped around the corners, and then they've got the gold Louis Vuitton rivets happen in here. And they've got a nice hefty pull tab. And the chain is heavy. It's weighty. I just felt like this was a very well done piece. The craftsmanship, I'm thrilled with it. I'm thrilled with it. It's something that Louis Vuitton came out with in a variety of flavors. I actually recently did a video talking about the loop in any of the different flavors being something being a good buy in my best classic bags by louis vuitton for 2022 because i really feel like any way you swing it with this bag you can't go wrong i just love it especially if you really like this shape if you don't like this shape this is probably not going to fit your aesthetic this is probably not going to be for you but if you like the shape and you like this look you're going to love this bag you're going to like a bag like this hands down the next bag i want to talk about is one that should give me the happy little girl feels forever for life that's how i feel about this bag that is my mila pouch and mila pouch is my latest buy from louis vuitton so my mila pouch is my latest purchase from louis vuitton Okay. When I look at this bag, when I feel this bag, when I use this bag, the only thing that comes to mind is this picture that I'm going to pop in here with the little girl. Yes, that's how I feel. Like I saw it months ago, months ago. I saw this bag and I, okay, don't judge me for this y'all. Don't this is, these are the moments when we're like close, when we're getting like this, when we're getting closer, okay? This is a moment, don't judge me for it, don't judge me. But, Khloe Kardashian, I know I said it. I know I said it, oh my God. Who's listening? Khloe Kardashian was wearing this mink jacket, okay? I had this picture in, stored in my phone for 10 years. It's gotta be 10 years, I think it's gotta be, it's got to be eight to ten years. I've had this picture. I got to pull it out. I, I swear it's from like 2002. Oh my god. <laughs> Anytime I'm like a you know. Does anybody do vision boards? I love I love to do vision boards. Pinterest is good for this, and I only do them digitally. OneNote. I love to store my pictures in OneNote or Pinterest. So put together vision boards and. In one of my wish lists, I have this picture of Khloe Kardashian in this mink jacket. I got to see if I can find it and insert it. And I said to myself, one day, one day. So when Louis Vuitton, when I saw my essay, she sent me this picture. And she, she had been sending me a whole bunch of other pictures that I had been turning down. But when I saw a picture of this bag, I said, yes. I I immediately, my, my eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. And I was like... Yes, yes. I was really on the fence too because I was like, it was summertime. I was like, what? I don't know if I'm gonna wear a bag like that. Where would I wear? I don't know. It doesn't fit a lot. It's really small, but it was love at first sight, you guys. It was months ago and I couldn't get it out of my head. I actually, in the moment, went to say yes. And in that moment, someone scooped up this bag and bought it. And I was like, I was like, was I, I was like, was I happy about it? I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I was like, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I couldn't get that bag out of my mind. And I remember maybe a month later, she had sent me more bags, pictures of more bags to take a look at. I said no to all of them. And I said, but if you have another one of these, 
I want one. And it was still in the summertime. She said that was the only one left in the country. And she went back and she said she had been after her manager. They had been in contact with corporate. They had let them know that someone wanted another one of these bags. And France made one. And she asked me before they made it if I still wanted it. And I said, yes. And they made one and they shipped it to me and I picked it up before this last Louis Vuitton event that I went to. So that is how I think about making major purchases that it's like, yes, my heart is all a flutter. My eyes like what they see, but you know, we just want to live in this world, you guys. We don't want to be taken in by it. I, I don't want to like live for the world. I just want to be in it for the short period of time that I'm in it, enjoying the things that are around it until I got to go my way. So that's how I felt about this bag is, okay, I knew I really wanted it. And so I was glad to have the opportunity to get it. And over time, I accumulated the money for it. So that's just my feeling about love at first sight is I still feel like my, my mindset is still one of reflection. Like I still got to take my time. I'm just at a point in life where even if I want the things that I want before I get them, I got to make sure everything else is right. Okay. That's just how it is. Loving this piece. It's one of my fun bags. This is like a party bag for me. Like consider this like one of those party bags. Like I want to go to party with something like this. I want to go out to dinner with something like this. Like this is one of those fun bags. Oh, and the, the other, oh, as I'm putting this bag away, I'm realizing that the inside lining is, you know, it's just one of those much more luxurious satiny materials that they give you for one of their special bags one of their ex expensive bags i guess you will say it's not like a canvas bag they're giving you a, something a little bit more protective is the inside lining of that mila pouch bag moving on to the next bag for me that was love at first sight the next bag i fell in love with at first sight is the balloon it's such a simple bag. There's these other two bags Louis Vuitton made that I really liked. TX Lux Lover has them. One is the Galliere. You gotta go check out her Instagram. She's got a really popping page. One is the Galliere, and I forget the name of the other bag. I'm gonna have to put a picture in. I remember thinking, man, Louis Vuitton, because I had the Galliere and I sold it. Galliere for me. What I didn't like about it was the opening and it had um, like a snap closure, I think. It wasn't a zipper closure. And the other bag, which was a smaller bag, it's like the older model Louis Vuitton where you can't fit your phone in the phone pocket because it's like one of those older models. I still felt like, man, it's really cute with the Vachetta. I love the Vachetta. You know I'm a Vachetta girl, but it was just a little too small. I already have like a smaller bag that size. So I remember thinking, I wish Louis Vuitton would come out with something in the middle that sort of resembled the two of those bags because I really love those bags. And then they came out with the Balloon. They came out with the Balloon in the Vachetta regular Vachetta and because they modernized, they came out with one in Noir. And I said to myself, Thank you. They also came out with the Odeon, but the reason why I feel like the Balloon is a little bit better is because it's a little bit smaller. I feel like it's a little bit younger looking bag. If you don't want to look like a mom, you know, sometimes bigger, medium sized bag get that flavor. A lot of moms, they look at them like they're crossbody bags. That's how the Odeon feels to a lot of people, but not the Balloon, especially if you get it in the Vachetta corners. I felt like this was one of those bags that it's so practical and so easy to wear and it fits everything you need. It goes a little bit under the radar, but if you know, you know that this is a popping bag and you have it or you want it or it's on your radar. So this was one of those bags when they first came out and I bought this last year, I knew I wanted this bag. And I knew I wanted it in the Noir. I said to myself, I gotta get this bag. Now, why do I like this model over those others? Well, first of all, Louis Vuitton keeps coming out with just better and better features. Hopefully they don't make the pull tabs any bigger than they've already made these. Like, I feel like this is the best size that they came out with. They even came out with, I think, bigger ones on the Cité bag, which I have, but I feel like they did a really good, 
they did a really good job with these pull tabs the reason why i like them is because if you know if you follow my channel i like nails i'm on a break from doing my nails right now because that's what i like to do i like to detox from the luxury y'all we got to do that sometimes i put my fingers right into the pull tab it just is the perfect fit i just love that what they did with the updated version of the blonde and i also love that they give us detachable straps on everything so this gold chain is detachable and it comes with another detachable strap that's leather and uh, adjustable three-way leather strap and i think that that's an amazing modern feature that they've given to us and added i like that the blonde has a nice full pocket right here on the side fits what you need i think they could have given us maybe another pocket on the other side but sometimes two pockets get in the way so i'm not mad at it this is an easy ride or die bag and then i like that it fits much more than you think because it's a little bit wider this is about three and a half inches wide it's got this structured piping there just keeping it all together i just like the shape of the blood i think it's a, a real classy shape real nice style hugs your curves really nicely and is comfortable to wear so this was the reason why this is one of my love at first sight bags the blonde is underrated if you know you know if you had the blonde you know it's a good bag another bag awaits us what is she about to pull out my face when I'm pulling this bag out y'all okay just look at my face this is my no way my petite no way I feel like a bag that is love at first sight should bring a smile to your face no matter how many years you've owned it <laughs> when you see it you should be smiling and so happy that you still have it that's how I feel about the no way this was my first bag I bought from the store the no way back in 2012 or 2017 one of those years i bought this bag and maybe it's 2017 i bought this bag remember seeing a girl wear the no way bb in the mall one day years ago i remember thinking to myself you know that's that's a really cute bag and the thing about Louis Vuitton's No Ways is it's one of their classic bags, but I didn't want the bigger No Way. I knew I wanted something smaller, something more manageable, but I also knew I didn't want the BB. But one day I remember going into Louis Vuitton and asking to look at a No Way and they brought out this one. They brought out the BB and they brought out the Petite No Way. And I remember trying on both. I think I even had bought both and had them held but I gave back the BB and I ended up keeping the No Way and I have my hot stamp on here with my initials. I just knew I wanted this bag and it's made in France. And the thing about it for me is when I say I'm a fashetta girl, you know I gotta mean it for buying a bag like this because look at the bag, look at the fashetta. Like I take my time, I want this bag to be tanned evenly and i've had it all these years and i wear this bag it's so funny that i do this but i love to wear this bag to the beach i don't take it on the beach but i love to take it to the beach because not only does it just fit everything but it has an opportunity to tan i i literally will set it on its side so that the bottom can tan and that's the reason why you can see it's got this overall even look. And then I love the feel of the fascetta, which is good because our oils help the tanning process move along as well, the oils in our hands. So I just really love this piece and it's classic Louis Vuitton. I can't believe people are out here still calling Louis Vuitton basic, y'all. When Louis Vuitton can stand the test of time, over some of these other bags that be falling apart. I can't believe I hear it still, y'all. This is just one of these classic timeless bags that I love. Love, 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 love. The Petite No Way. Anytime I see a No Way out there in the wild, I'm just thinking to myself, go you. You got a lot of courage for that. <laughs> Those are my five pieces that I fell in love with 
at first sight and continue to love to this day. As you can tell, all my pieces are in excellent condition. I just really like to care for my things and the things that I really, really enjoy. I really try to take good care of my things. Go and catch my girls Candy and Lux Lover Sarah 5866 videos as well as Fuchsia Floyd's. If you are with me to the end, I really appreciate you for watching. Then I hope you have liked throughout and you subscribe by now. If you are interested in some perfume, I am doing a perfume giveaway. If you would like some perfume, go to my website, wilomilo.com and sign up, code name perfume.